we got some news coming out of the basketball world. And uh, on first take, shout out to Stephen A. Smith, Monica McNutt, and Shannon Sharp. Now, I was watching first take, and they, of course, the whole Caitlin Clark thing has been going viral. Her getting hip checked by um, Kennedy Carter, but you, you know, it, it got very heated on there. Now, you had Stephen A. Smith saying, him and Shannon Sharp basically saying that people are going to get turned off by watching Caitlin Clark get beat up like that. And, you know, it's obvious that there's just a little bit of jealousy, just a little bit from some of the WNBA players. And then you also have Monica basically saying she admitted that there is a little bit of jealousy, but we're making a big deal about it. And I mean, it was just a hip check. It wasn't, it wasn't like, at least when Angel Reese, she got clothesline basically, but they just, but she was defending the NBA and of course she ended up getting heated to where Monica ends up calling out Stephen A. Monica said basically you wouldn't talk about the NBA you could have been talking about the WNBA three years ago but you now you want to talk about it and you see Stephen A go wow just wow now they both did say that they love each other and all of that right or they each other guys and girls whatever but you know, she called Stephen A. Smith out, put him on blast. And Stephen A., he don't like that, honestly. Whenever you call for him and Max Kellerman fell out, because when you start cooking Stephen A., you can tell he really gets offended by it. Now, here's my thoughts about all of this. I see both sides of it. Yeah, it is a welcome to the WNBA. Caitlin should have knew, her and Angel should have knew that the NBA, WNBA was coming for them. And, you know, it's not going to be easy. You see him do, you see him do it with Alonzo Ball. You about to see him do with Bronny James. They about to go in on Bronny. Once let Bronny get drafted. Somebody gonna try to dunk on Bronny and trash talk. They was going at him in college. So you see people go through this over and over again. And one thing that Monica did bring up was incidents that happened back in the day where high talent high talent rookies got the welcome to the WNBA moments. But at the same time, you can't mess the product up. And that's really up to the WNBA. Now, I did see they upgraded uh, Carter's foul to a flagrant one. You know, you got to – it's up to the the suits to protect the, the golden goose. Now, some people saying that – I keep hearing this whole fairness thing, right? You know, she didn't earn nothing. And, oh, and one, one more thing. You see the WNBA, the NBA was hard on Michael Jordan when he first got to the league. Froze him out in the All-Star game. But, yeah – I keep hearing this fairness online and about who deserves this. Let me tell you something. Life ain't fair. When it comes to these sports, the only thing that these people care about is who's putting the butts in the seats. Again, if me or you had the same following and we tried out for the NBA, they're going to put us on some team. Or if you was a woman and you had that same following and you was selling basketball, you don't think they're going to find a, re- a way to draft you and put you on a bench somewhere to sell tickets? Kayla is the golden goose. Angel's one of the golden gooses. Like, it, this is business. And for the WNBA players, again, I get it. You know, you want to let them know this. Y'all league, y'all been here. I understand that. But listen, man, it's time for everybody to eat and get this money. So, you know, I, I know some people are not going to agree with this with this take. But, you know, I don't feel sorry for Kayla at all. I don't. You know, she a grown woman. She a, you're a professional. You got to learn how to deal with you know, some of the sneaky tactics that's going to come. At the same time, WNBA, don't mess this up. Do not mess this up because if she leaves and Angel leaves, really if she leaves, you're going to get a huge fan base that's paying. I'm just I'm just keeping it real. So you're going to see, watch. And Shannon Sharp did say something very important as well. The NFL do it all the time. When Tom Brady tore his knee up, the owners change the rules the next year. Why? Because you're not finna mess up their golden goose. If Patrick Mahomes go out there and it's some awkward play and he's out for the season and it was caused by a defensive player, you don't think they're going to change the rules? Why? Because when Patrick Holmes is winning, everybody's technically winning. Everybody's eating. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.